In Columbia, an exciting day at Columbia College. It's move in day, but for the first time in the school's history, male residents are moving in on campus. Here's News 19's Tai Wong. Mom is nervous, mom is anxious, but I'm also excited. Jordan is our oldest, and we're letting them go out into the world now and just praying and hoping all is well. Aisha Wright is Jordan Wright's mother. Jordan is a first year student athlete and a part of the first group of male residential students at Columbia College. Um, I feel like it's a good experience, you know, it's a new beginning, new blessings. So um, I know it's a little different now, but I feel like everything's still going to go good with the boys and girls, even though it's like a new thing. Columbia College had been a women's college, but this year they're going co-ed and welcoming 45 male students to their campus for the first time in their 167 years history. Tom Bogart became the president of the college in October of 2020. He says the change is an opportunity to broaden their horizons. Uh, most women now are looking for a co-educational experience and also we really believe that the opportunity we provide and the environment we have is a good one for men to grow and so it's expanding our outreach to men of course but also to a broader group of women. Bogart says this year there is only one residential hall for males but over time they will evaluate the best approach for student housing to help students succeed. They're really embracing this idea about being part of a supportive and challenging community where they can fit in and stand out. As for some others, they're not just first time male residential students, but the first Columbia men's soccer team. It feels cool to be like the first of something. It's a good experience to like be part of the first soccer team, the first guys on campus. It's been good to kind of like be the first here. It hasn't felt that different. Everyone's been really nice and it's been a really good experience so far. Yeah, it was great. It's like making history, basically. Reporting in Columbia, Tai Wong, News 19, WLTX.